Alrighty. I'm hoping this is what I think it is. <sighs> yes, that time. So I'll show you. This is a delivery from Jacob. that I've been waiting for for months. So they haven't been in stock, so. So this is a board from a job that I went to and it was basically a two-year-old day conducted that had a power surge. So um, it blew the PC board and I've made a video on that, which I'll put the thing up on the video, um, but they haven't had any of these in stock. Now, I don't know how many of you guys deal with Dakin, but it's an absolute nightmare they're just like oh, they're just hard to deal with like for example i ordered this and a fan and they gave me the exact price so that pc board right there is one thousand and thirteen dollars and twenty four cents and that fan $244.85 they gave me the um, part numbers I ordered that and they just sent me out two fans it's just like they're not great <laughs> anyway this has been out of stock they haven't had any in Australia finally it's come in um, and I felt really bad for the customer because they've just been without aircon literally the whole winter so I'm going to give them a call now and um, yeah, they would be absolutely stoked. So let's go and change it over.
Hey guys, sorry about that. The camera went flat. But anyway, um, I've replaced the PC board, replaced the fan motor, and that unit is now working fine. Um, one thing you should take with you if you're going to do that same job is um, you need to take a uh, some heat silicon paste. You'll definitely need that. But you don't need a uh, capacity adapter. Um, you only need that when you replace the indoor board. So that's all good. Basically what happens now is I send an invoice, a service report and a warranty request form to Dakin and that will eventually get back to me and pay. So um, I told you at the start of the video they sent me an extra fan. Well they also sent me an extra PC board. Um, I, I don't know what's happening with them. They'll try to charge me for that. I've got to go return it. It's just, it's just so hard to deal with them for something so simple. Um, but I'm not going to stand here and just rubbish them. That's I'm not here to do that. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it if you are self-employed. Basically, you need to buy the part, fix it for your customer, and then you uh, chase up Dakin and, and get it a refund. And, and they pay you for your time. So it's fine. Um, they don't pay great, but they still pay, and, you know. So, yeah, it's all good. That unit's all fixed. I hope that, um, hope that video helps some people. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.